Hello everyone. Today we are going to study NFA to DFA. For that we must first know what is a DFA. That is a deterministic finite automata. That means for every given state, whenever I give it an input symbol, whether it is A, B, or anything, I will have only one output. Okay. And in an NFA or the non-deterministic finite automata, for every input symbol and a state, I can have two or more outputs. So now we are going to convert and give an given NFA to DFA. So suppose we have a question as uh, Q. We have uh, four states: Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. Where my Q2 and Q3 are two final states. Q0 is the starting state, and the transitions are as follows. That I'll be showing you here. Okay. So here you can see. For example. If I talk about Q naught, so when I have Q naught and I give it an input symbol A, so it gives me two different states. That is Q naught and Q one. That is, it is an NFA, okay. And if I talk about B, Q naught when given B gives me only one state. So this is a property of DFA. But this is an NFA, so we are going to convert it into a DFA. The first step that we are going to make do is make the transition table, okay. I hope all of you know what is a transition table. If no, then you can see it here. You have one column which gives you all the states, and then you have the input symbols, okay, which tells you that what state it makes, what is the output state when this input state is given this input symbol. So I make the transition table over here. So as you can see, corresponding to this, whenever I give Q naught, I can have two states. That is Q naught and Q one. And when I give Q B as input symbol to Q naught, I get only one state. So similarly, I write down for another states, okay, okay. So now, from the transition state, from the transition table, sorry, we see that we have this new state. This is our new state. So now we are going to check for transitions for this new state. So we write down transition of Q naught comma Q one with A will give me what? Transition of Q naught. Q not with a union transition of Q one with a, so that will be Q not with a is Q not comma Q one and union Q one with a is Q two. That means I will get a new state Q not comma Q one comma Q two. This is again a new state, okay? New state. But before finding out transitions for the new state, I am going to find out the transitions that this state will have with B. That is. We'll have Q naught with B will give me what Q naught and Q one with B will give me Q one. That is, this is not a new state now because already we have taken it as a new state. So this is our first new state, okay? And the second new state was this. So now we check for the transitions for this. That is, uh, when I uh, make the transitions of Q naught comma Q one comma Q two with A, it will give me Q naught comma Q one comma Q two. Comma Q three, all right. Why? Because Q naught transition with A will give me this thing. Then union Q one transition A that is Q two, okay. And then union Q two transition A that is Q three. Fine. Now this again is a new state. So again we'll find transitions for this. But before that we'll find out the transitions for this with B. So that means transition of. Q naught comma Q one comma Q two with B will give me what? Q naught comma Q one comma Q three. Now we'll check among the new states. Q Q naught Q one. The new states we had were Q naught Q one, Q one Q two Q three, Q naught Q one Q two Q three. Now this Q naught Q one and Q three. This state is again my new state. So that means. We do. We need to check the transitions for this too. But before that, we already have a pending new state. That is. So this is our second new state. Uh, this thing. Second new state. This is our third new state. Okay. Yeah. And this is our fourth new state. We already have the transitions for the first new state, the second new state. Now it's the turn for the third new state. Okay. So now we we check for the transitions of the third new state. We'll we we can take it as uh, three. Okay. That will give me. You don't have to write an exam like this three. You have to write down the full state. 
the full state will be q0 comma q1 comma q2 q3 over here okay and then a will give me q0 comma q1 comma q2 comma q3 which is a state 3 itself okay this is not a new state now we talk about transition of q0 comma q1 comma q2 comma q3 with b it will give me again q0 comma q1 comma q3 comma q2 that is again same okay and so now we talk about the transitions of this thing because now here we have no new states okay we have already find out found out these ones so we'll find out about with q0 q1 q3 that is this new state that we find that we found out comma a that will give me q0 comma q1 now i hope it's very clear how you found out let's see from the transition table so we see that q0 q0 comma a comma a will give me q0 q1 okay then union okay let me write down for you union q1 comma a q1 comma a is q2 union q3 comma a q3 comma a is null union yeah that's all that's all you have so it's equal to q q0 comma q1 okay so similarly we find we find out q uh, transition of uh, q0 q1 q3 with b okay so that is equal to q0 comma q1 comma q2 that is not a new state so finally we have no more new states okay so what we're gonna do now we have got the final states the final states that we have got from all the two uh, all the things uh, we did uh, right now are okay so the final states that i get are q0 we do not take uh, the initial states that were given to us we just take the uh, you know the older states that we had that is q0 q1 q2 q3 generally we just skip these states we just take the starting states in our final transition table the dfa transition table we just skip uh, other states so here also we will skip these three okay so q0 and the new states are q0 comma q1 and q0 comma q1 comma q3 then q0 comma q1 comma q2 comma q3 and q0 comma q1 comma q3 so that's that's all uh, we had so we'll give them new names a b c d e now how are we going to decide which states are the final states so in our initial uh, given question the final states were q2 and q3 so now in all the states where q3 and q3 uh, q2 and q3 will occur they all will become, will become the final states that is this this and this will be the final state and this will be the starting state okay so now we will make a corresponding transition table the the, the transition the transition table will be or phi or this thing no a and b okay so now we take as a b c da uh, c star d star and e star okay yeah so for okay so now we have to do this very very carefully why because obviously the, on this it will uh, our answer will depend so when i talk about a what is a q0 when i put uh, input symbol a into capital uh, the state a that is q0 i get q0 q1 that is a new state q0 q1 is b so and when i put uh, this thing our uh, b, uh, input symbol b into our state a what i'm getting is q0 q that is a itself similarly we check for all this uh, b b state is q0 q1 when i put a in q0 q1 i get q0 q1 q2 so that is q0 q1 and q2 okay so i'm getting c over here okay and then when i'm putting uh, b into q1 q0 q0 q1 i'm getting q0 q1 that is i get b itself similarly i'll do one for c star d star and uh, this thing e star okay so now this is our final transition table here every input state or sorry every given state or every state will correspond to only one output for every given symbol here no two states are possible okay so we'll make the corresponding transition diagram okay so we have two states a sorry uh, five states b c d and E uh, being the final states, right? 
okay so we can make the transitions as follows b and it goes here then it goes here okay then it goes here I hope you make how, know how to make the transition diagrams. Okay, so now let's just check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight. Oh yeah, we just forgot these. Come on, B. Okay, so this is our final transition diagram. So that's how we see that now in this every for every state and every input symbol we just have one corresponding. output so that's all about converting an nfa to dfa